Hey first grade, today off the supply table you're gonna get one sheet of paper. You're also gonna get one paintbrush and that's all you should need to grab. We're gonna flip it over and put our name on the back right away, Mr. Calvert. And you are my one in either A, B, or C. Flip it back over and at your tables I have these things called tracers. They look like giant sombreros. It even says tracer on it. You need to put that on your paper and carefully trace all the way around it. If you need help holding that tracer while you trace, please ask a neighbor. I'm sure that they would love to help you out. After you've got it traced, I'm going to set that tracer off to the side and we are going to be painting today using tempera paint. So at your table I should have a bunch of these paint bins. We are going to be making a bunch of different lines. Think about all the lines you know. You know verticals and horizontals and diagonals and angles and curves. This is the kind of paint that we don't want to have a wet brush. So I can just dip my paintbrush right into it right away. Getting a little bit on the tip and I can paint some of those lines. Maybe I'll do some lines down here. And notice that I'm doing a couple different lines so I don't have to wash my brush again already. When I'm ready to switch colors, I'm going to gently tap that on the bottom of my water bowl. I'm not tapping it on the edge, I'm just gently dabbing it on the bottom of the water bowl. And then I'm going to give it a little wipe on the sponge. Remember this point of the sponge is not to get the paint off your brush, it's to get the water off our brush. Maybe I want to use some purple, thinking about some more lines that I know. Maybe I want to do a horizontal line. Maybe I want to do some vertical lines. I'm going to fill up this sombrero with all different kinds of lines, making sure to wash my brush out between every single color, wipe it on the sponge, and then switch to my next color, I'm being a responsible painter. When you have that sombrero full of beautiful lines, all right, using the toes of my brush, these are going to go at the bottom of the drying rack as low as you can go. Please put your brush in the dirty brush bin and clean up after yourself. 